you're doing fine today so let's get a little bit technical for this new video and let's talk about how to monitor your four-wheel drive when overlanding this is a basic but important topic and do stay until the end to know what are the two easy to use systems that we use to monitor by ourselves our four-wheel drive when overlanding. First, of course, basic info and why it's important to be able to do this alone without needing to go to the garage. Nowadays, most vehicles are equipped with an engine control unit. This ECU takes care of all the engine management and also diagnoses faults and reports them to the driver. If it's only a minor problem, it will simply turn on an indicator light on the dashboard as a notice. And in case of a more serious breakdown, it may decide to cut off certain functions and operate the vehicle in limp mode to preserve the engine or other components from bigger damages. Let's say it, this only works in the perfect world. It also happens that this electronic control unit is wrong and a failure is taken as such when in fact physically there's no mechanical problem. Or even worse, the opposite situation, a real failure that wouldn't be detected by the ECU and would lead to a real breakdown. These various mistakes can be due to sensor issues or simply a failure in the electronics hardware or software. As always, it's best to know your vehicle mechanically to be able to translate the information delivered by the ECU and then be able to judge whether or not it's in line with reality. Now, what are the solutions for monitoring a four-wheel drive? You could go to the garage or repair shop every time a warning light comes on or have a diagnostic device and be independent. The answer is clear and simple. Concerning our vehicle, we rarely had lights on on the dashboard because a well-maintained vehicle shouldn't have these kinds of problems. But in the rare case that it does, it's important to be able to diagnose the problem quickly and on the spot. What does a diagnostic device do? This device will allow two main operations, which are First, a real-time access to data not available on the dashboard based on the sensors of your vehicle, for example, the turbo's pressure, the coolant's temperature or the air intake's temperature. And secondly, it gives the possibility to read and clear the fault codes, which will automatically remove the engine warning lights on the dashboard. This can be very practical, especially if the fault has been physically repaired in the meantime. The data provided by the sensors can be extremely useful when you're trying to locate a failure. For example, on Land Rover Defenders, a point we've already talked about in one of our videos is the overheating issue and the lack of graduation in the gauge temperature rise on the dashboard before putting the engine into fault or limp mode. If you can detect the critical faulty temperature with a diagnostic device, you can monitor your coolant's temperature and ease off before the overheating. Of course, this is only an emergency troubleshooting. A motor shouldn't fail unnecessarily and it's really important to solve the problem as soon as possible. Here are the two types of devices available and that we use the expensive and complete one and the cheaper but very useful one. The expensive diagnostic device does require some investment but it's often the most capable by providing the most functions and information. For our vehicle we use a Nanocom from Black Box Solutions. They are well known in the four-wheel drive community. This device makes it possible to identify all engine fault codes on the ECU and it also makes it possible to view all engine parameters in real time 
and access other functions such as the alarm system, the ABS or injectors grade. It's proved to be a great and indispensable tool for those who wish to be independent while traveling because when used properly it can solve a large part of failures related to the ECU. For those who don't want to invest in this kind of expensive device, luckily there's a much cheaper one. A small OBD box which simply plugs into the vehicle's OBD2 socket and sends the information via Bluetooth to a smartphone, a tablet or a computer. We used this system before investing in a Nanocom and we still use it today. To be able to use it properly, it's important to download a Talk Pro application that costs around two euros. This is to be able to check in real time a lot of information such as the turbo's pressure, coolant temperature, etc. With this app, it's also possible to erase fault codes, but be aware that you won't access certain functions such as the alarm, ABS or injectors, for example. Considering the very low price of this kind of device, which is around 10 euros, I think, I would say that it's the minimum to have when traveling with a vehicle equipped with an ECU. If a fault code is displayed on your dashboard and forces you to stop your vehicle without the fault physically existing, at least you can erase the fault code and continue driving. If it persists, you will have to take a closer look at it, but at least initially you weren't stuck on the road. There you go. And if you are interested in this topic, please let me know and I can show you more in details all the various features of these two devices. Now, as always, and if it's not done yet, please add a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Give me the